All right, today we have Jacob's Ladder with 10,000 volts. That's 10 kilovolts for you experts. Hello! That's Gabe. He's Gabe-ish. Uh, it's got 26 milli, uh, milliamps, and it only pulls uh, less wattage from the outlet than our last microwave uh, transformer was. Yes, this one pulls about 800 watts, whereas the microwave transformer pulled about 1,200, roughly. So... Now we're going to show you the arc from it, because it's really cool, and it's a different kind of plasma than a uh, than our previous transformer. Much less current this time. So Gabe's going to plug that in. The microwave on transformer outputted about 1 amp, while this one will put out about point twenty er, point zero twenty six. That's 26 milliamps. Alright, live wire, and... There's our... There we go. There's our ladder for you. one it will jump about uh, half a centimeter before contact is made whereas the other one wouldn't jump until after contact was made so interesting facet of it there <laughs> it's rather extraordinary beautiful oh, yeah there you go all right. As you can see here, we've got another innocent potato. This time, a sweet potato. Yes. Less innocent. <laughs> Much less innocent. We're going to so, poke him with 10,000 volts. We've got him skewered on this little wire here, which is attached to... The 10,000 volt transformer. Yes, which we showed in a previous clip. All and right. the other one is attached to this wrench, which we will poke the potato with, as before, but this time with more volts. Let's see what happens. Good philosophy. All right, live wire. <clears throat> hmm. Ooh, that's interesting. Very interesting indeed. Well, we can see sparks flying, particularly from where we don't want it. Superpairs are very conductive. There appears to be significantly less burning, though I believe that the burning may be happening inside. Mmm, slow roast. <laughs> may actually be a better method of cooking potatoes. Red film. 